Hey guys, Joel here with Doyle's Basement Records. How's everyone doing in the VC community? I'm still doing great. Uh, ah, no complaints so far. So, uh, this will be another episode. You know, as I'm doing like the 12 days of Christmas, I'm doing the 12 days of music. This will be uh, day four, album four. Before we get started, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, please. Leave me a comment in that comment section. Let me know if I suck, if I'm doing all right for you guys. Um, and that album is actually a soundtrack, and it's one of my favorite soundtracks of all time. It's, and this, uh, I can't say enough of great things about this album. That's Eddie and the Cruisers by John, was it John McCaffrey? Yeah, M McCafferty. Sorry, McCafferty. <laughs> Dude, I, great movie, phenomenal soundtrack. It starts, you know, you get Dark Side. Uh, tender years on this. They do a great cover of uh, D. Was it Run Around Sue? And then we got you got Boardwalk Angels as well. I I don't know. I, forget, I don't remember what year this movie came. It was eighty three. So that was a big year for Michael Pere, the guy who played Eddie. Maybe a year, year and a half earlier, he did a movie called Streets of Fire. Which is my number one soundtrack in any movie. And I think this I had this in my top three. Maybe top two. I don't remember. I this I've listened to this album. I couldn't tell you how many times. I any album when I work at the shop that I don't know or I want to listen to, I kinda I I I I'm not gonna lie, I put this puppy on, man. Love this album. Especially that side A. Ugh. But um, yeah, anyways, back to the movie. Michael Parade. He might be the GOAT in my eyes with uh being related to a soundtrack. If you haven't seen Streets of Fire, check it out. Young Diane Lane. I think that's like one of her first main roles as an actress. You got William Defoe, Rick Moranis from like Honey I Shrunk the Kids, Parenthood. Parenthood. And that's a, I don't get off topic, but man, that's a great movie. Keanu Reeves' first movie, if you guys didn't know that. Um, man, now where was I going? Oh, and the, the, the lady from Uncle Buck who was dating John Candy's character. Um, but anyways, check, if you haven't, if you don't want to watch a movie, man, check this album. Just check out the song, um, On the Dark Side. You can type in Eddie the Cruises or you can type in John McCafferty. I'll type this thing in my link on my favorite songs on this. They even did a sequel to this movie, the soundtrack. I don't think as good, but man, it's right up there. Great music in the second one, too. And there's a little scene, it's my favorite scene out of both the movies, um, Michael Pore's character is kind of teaching this young buck. <laughs> young buck. Oh man, I'm sorry. <laughs> He's not teaching. They're they're taking turns kind of soloing on guitar. The young kids, and this is in the '80s. The young kids all kind of about like he's playing a lot faster, trying to do more notes, and instead of just having kind of a beautiful melody, so he's even doing some finger tapping. And then Michael Pore's character's like, yeah. It's all right. It would it would you know please an audience, but that's the easy part, as he says. You gotta feel the music. That he says, and then the kid's like, "Oh, I want to learn." And he sits down and plays a little guitar solo. It's gorgeous. If you play guitar, you can tell within two seconds Michael Pore Michael Pore is not playing the guitar, which they should have. Uh, you know, it's like you know, practice a little bit. You don't have to be the best guitar player. But act like you know you're doing some chords. Eh, oh well, I would love to see a remake of this movie. But anyways, guys, I could talk a little bit more on this, but I'll try to keep these videos short. Um, check out the song, or check out the songs. Check out the movie; they're both fantastic. Uh, I don't think you can go wrong with either one of the movies. And the, and the second one is a lot more cheesier, but you know I can't help it. I like both of them. Uh, all right, guys, that's gonna be it for this one. Uh, Till next time, have a good one.